was the bag. All I wanted was a 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 bag. Put the top on the floor and then make all these niggas mad. It's your boy, Old Guy Hip Hop News Uncensored. Hey, yo, if you got an iPhone or the droid lovers out there, look in the description box, yo. We got a wireless charger for you. Fast charge for the extra, extra low. I got y'all, man. Check it out. Let's get it. Two words. Bad boy. College. College. But it was the greatest university of the music business I had ever, ever been a part of. You know, uh, you know, I listen to a lot of the older artists, you know, talk about Motown, how Motown went down and that day. And I got to say, Bad Boy, you know, had to be the closest thing to that model that there ever was. Because there's never been an executive that got that involved in the vision of an artist. Most labels, they sign you and say, do your thing. You know what I mean? But, into his vision, you know what I mean? And he's a really, really good executive, and I, I couldn't, you know, be doing any of this if I wasn't blessed to meet him. And, you know, he, he was, I think he was one of the first people told me, that told me that I was gonna last a long, long time in this game, you know? And uh, I just, I, I love him and I love everything that he's doing right now. I think Bad Boy is just, you know, an elder statesman of the game right now. I mean, we've accomplished everything that there ever was possible <laughs> to accomplish. Uh, you know, I mean, uh, a, a Fortune 500 company isn't going to last 400 years, you know. Um, but, uh, you know, it, it was meant for us to take that experience for what it was. It's, 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 it's funny to me to hear outside opinions of, uh, how other people view that situation, you know, <laughs> and 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 a lot of times the people who uh, talk about it are usually people who weren't close to it at all, or really didn't know anything about how it worked, or you know, you know, there were usually people that knew someone that knew someone that knew someone who worked in the mailroom. That bad boy, right? That was, you know, but you know. Right, like a lot of people like to say, you know. When you're signed with Bad Boy, it's like a trap, and then he uses you, or something like that. Do you believe that any of that is true? I mean, I don't know. I just, I don't, I, I don't know. I mean, um, I never got into that. You got to understand. Um, when I was on the label, you know, I was very much, you know, like I am still to this day, it's very much family. But I, I existed in my own microcosm, uh, with my own regime and my own crew, uh, and my own after party. My own, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so, you know, I mean, I, I can definitely tell you that ain't happened to me. Right. Like anything else, it's according to what you know. Yeah. Um, how is an artist going to blame an executive for what they haven't studied? It is really insulting to me, actually, you know, because so many people view multimedia as something that you do not have to study. And I hate that. I, I, I hate that, you know. Um, and it's everything down from, you know, the radio to the producers. Everything, you know. Uh, you know, this is the only business. Uh, this is the only business uh, besides, you know, a couple of other genres that people feel like they can just jump into because they like music. Uh, okay, what are, okay, uh, what are your qualifications? Music. I can dance. Uh, yeah, uh, you know, uh, people at my church say I'm good. Uh, you know what I mean? Um, yes. You know, and this is a real business. You know what I mean? The people, the people who succeed at this game in the long run are those who have studied this game. You know, those who uh, have graduated from this game, shall we say? You know what I mean? But. I mean, would you want someone, you know, doing a root canal on you simply because they like teeth? No. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know and that, you know, everyone feels like they can do this. Everyone. I think that, uh, what, what I think that it's, I think it's very easy.
for people to get caught up in an era, uh, to get caught up in quote unquote what they think real music is. I, I'd like to ask you a question. If the classical greats, let's just hypothetically say, Johann Sebastian Bach were to come back and listen to the music of the 50s, 60s, and 70s. What would he say? Mm, that's a good question. He would, he would talk about how people have bastardized music and chopped it up and made it into something negative. And he would talk about, you know, because, you know, your era, let me tell you what your era is. Your era is the time you take your first breath until the time you take your last. That is your era. Not a 10 year span of your life. This was real music. No. You were receptive then and you're no longer receptive. That's there you true. Go. <laughs> That's what I tell my sister all the time. She's like, I don't like that. When yeah. I used to. I was, um, I was reading an article in Rolling Stone magazine. Rolling Stone has a, has a section in the magazine that says, in this day in music, this many years ago, this happened. And I was reading a, a quote from Stevie Wonder. And the quote, I, I think the year was about 1973 or 1974, and he said, you can't have longevity if you have no foresight and you can't tell what's coming next. Ain't that the truth? Ain't so, that the truth? are you purists out there? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Are you purists out there that can't seem to listen to a Chris Brown song or can't seem to respect the Trey Songs record? I really need to check yourself. 